Okay, to continue. I've got now all the feet I want. I've got everything except for the back end of the creature and the tail placed. So why is it that my back end looks so undefined? So I need to diagnose that. And I suspect it's because I erased away from it with a low opacity, which is why you can kind of see through it. So there's a few solutions to this. One is that I can go back and find my reference, which is why I always keep my reference in my master folder, right? But I remember I warped that reference and colored it quite a bit. The other option is when something gets really slightly transparent is that you can duplicate it. So I can just hit Command J a few times and bring back that opacity. What's more problematic is that it's not very sharp, that it's kind of in pooled focus. And it's not the back that I want. So I made lots of copies of it, and that just makes it more and more opaque. And so if I wanted to use all of those, I would then select all of those copies, right? And then layer merge them together. So you can see the difference in the opacity there. And I want that opacity just right there. So I'm gonna delete the rest. Something like that. And now I've got a little bit more of that back edge of that leg. But there are other stray pixels that are causing problems. Mo pixels, mo problems. All right. So what can I do to try to get that to kind of match the clarity? What I can do is play with the adjustments, right? So I can play with the levels and I can deepen the shadows. Brighten the highlights just a tiny bit. I can also use a filter that will just sharpen the edges around pixels. I, I tend to use um, filter sharpen smart sharpen. So you have good control this way. And it will preview. So I want it maybe sharpened about that much, just for the texture. And now I'm going to play with the colors again. I'm going to take out some of that blue. So for this, I'm going to use hue saturation, just to remind you of this. And I'm going to do a targeted saturation just on the blues. And I'm just going to take their saturation down. A little bit. So I can start to see kind of a spine there that I can use and an edge. All right, next, it's all about placement. So I'm going to use Control T. I'm just going to distort that top edge a little, and then warp it. So that I can line that all up. And that will help with my tail placement. So that's all in that, that copy. And it changed a lot of things I didn't necessarily want it to change because they're still in that layer. So let me delete those away from it. 
all of this. There we go. And then I can feather with just with my 100% brush that hard edge that I just created with my lasso on the stomach. So that it transitions. All right, now I'm gonna start uh, cutting this out, but I first have to transition the bottom of this leg and that foot. And because the tail is so clearly behind everything else, I'm gonna cut out the creature because a lot of you are at that step. And then I'm going to put the tail onto the back of it. So I just wanna do some of the internal Transitions, slightly smaller brush. Get rid of that hard edge. 100% soft edged opacity. And then chain, take the opacity down a little bit of my eraser. Come on. And transition it. And that brings a little bit of that red color through as well, which is nice. Okay, so this is good enough to start cutting it out. So now I don't need to see my sketch anymore. So I'm going to turn off the background. I'm going to turn off the sketch. I'm going to select every other layer that's showing. Only the ones that are visible. I don't want the uh, tail elements yet. So I hold down Shift. And all of these kind of collaged layers that are making this up, I have selected. Then I go to Layer, and I hold down Option while, while I click on Merge Layers. And then I can turn off every layer and every layer group, and it will leave me with just one combined image. Unfortunately, I left off that foot. <laughs> so let me show you this whole step again. I'm going to take the layers I want, hold down Shift, select them all, hold down Option, and then say Layer Merge Layers. By holding down Option, it won't get rid of them. So that I have them for use later. But now I can cut cut out my creature. So this is the whole car has been assembled, at least everything but the tail, and maybe I won't have time for a tail. And now I can go in and I can work on it all as one piece. Because it's all in the same layer. So what's really handy about that is I can take that whole combined layer and I can dodge and burn it as a whole. So for instance, I might want to burn this back end a little bit. And I always use a soft brush at less than 30. Large enough to see. I'm going to burn always the mid-tones first. I might want to burn the stomach a little bit, burn the back leg, and you see now it's all burning across all the pixels because I've merged them. Okay, now I need to find my edges. And because it's all merged, I can do little things like take this tongue
and I'm at a two pixel feather. I can duplicate it and see if I want a tongue. And I don't think I do. You know, so you can try different things. I'm going to actually use my lasso and I'm going to make it a one pixel feather because this is a pretty hard edged creature. And now I'm just going to, just like we've cleaned up before, start deleting away from its edges. Now, one way to see that really clearly so that I don't just have the checkerboard is to create a new background layer, just a blank layer at the bottom, and then say edit fill, and I'm going to fill it with white. And so then it will really show me the edges. And sometimes you want to fill it with, it depends kind of on the colors of your creature. Sometimes you want to fill it with gray. And that helps you see, you know, how you're cutting it out. But I think for mine, I'm going to do white. And then I'm zoomed in probably about 400%, 200%, something like that. Whoops, I need to be on the right layer, though, as I delete. And it's going to take chunks away. And I'm just using a trackpad. This would be faster with a stylus and a tablet. Whatever tools you have, we want to learn to make the most of them. But it's not about having the most expensive tools. It's about knowing what to pay attention to, where to put your effort. Reshape that lip a little bit. And because this is the merged layer, it will get rid of all of the different source layers outside of where I want this creature's outline to be. Now remember, when you're zoomed in, you can use spacebar to click and drag around. Because I have a trackpad, I can just use two fingers to, to kind of move around and navigate. But you use what works for you. For fine-tuned work like this, you definitely want to be able to zoom in and move around while you're zoomed in. And I hope by the end of this video, I'm going to try to work very deliberately and just have this creature cut out. Because our next assignment is to put our creature into our fantasy landscape environment. So I don't want anything of the background left. This little grass between his claws. Ideally, we would even take care of that if it matters. Because there might not be grass in my fantasy landscape. And I definitely recommend kind of chunking your selections and deleting this way. I'm doing this instead of using the magic wand because the magic wand can leave a lot of debris that is then a pain to find and deal with later. And as you're zoomed in, you might find little light artifacts from the, the different photos, like little lens flares, like you're seeing that here, the little blue. 
And that's one of the, the downsides of not shooting your own reference. 